Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to make beautiful and professional looking slideshows using Google Slides. And I wanna show you how to do this with templates. Now, the main reason I wanted to make this video is I run a video production company and oftentimes my clients hire professional companies that design their slideshows for them. Basically, they create a very simple slideshow from scratch and then they hire a design firm to basically turn that into something that looks nice and professional and they spend thousands of dollars a month doing this. Well, with templates, I think if you're already taking the time to create the slideshow, you could basically use the template and do that instead rather than outsourcing this process. So I'm gonna show you here with an example exactly how to do this step by step. If you go to slides.google.com, you should land on this page here on Google Slides or you will have to log into your Google account. And then on the bottom of this page right here, don't press create new presentation. Instead, choose template is what you wanna pick here. And from this page, there are a decent amount of templates, maybe about 30 or so templates you could choose from. Now, I think a lot of these look pretty generic, right? So if you started from here, I think you still may need a designer to make it look a little better for most scenarios. So I recommend another platform that has over 22,000 different templates to choose from. And this is called Envato Elements. And I'll put a link below this video to this platform. And one of the reasons why I like this over some other platforms is the quality of the presentations. I'll show you one as an example here with this video as we go ahead and customize it. But you could also get other things like graphics and photos. So if you plan to make this available maybe on YouTube or any public facing website, you definitely wanna get your photos and graphics from a royalty free website, which this is, rather than just using images from Google, which you may not have copyright permission to use. So between the quality, the quantity, and the ability to get everything else for the same monthly fee here, this is my recommendation for using this platform. I use it for all my video, audio, graphics, and music needs. Now here I have Google Slides selected, but they do have PowerPoint and Keynote. Keynote is for Apple, PowerPoint is for PC and Mac, and Google Slide is obviously on the web where we are right now. So let me show you how easy this is. Let's say I have an investor pitch. So I'm gonna look up investor pitch here. And you could do this for all kinds of things, quarterly reports, sales meetings, you basically search whatever you want up here and you will probably get a good amount of results. You could see I have 4,300 results just for an investor pitch. And then what you could do is you could just go through and click on any one of these to kind of get a broad overview. So maybe this is the homepage and you could customize any of these on Google Slide. This platform just gives you the template. You still will use Google Slides to make any customization. You could get an idea of what it looks like. And most of these are in HD format, which is definitely something you should be using. So this is the dimension for HD format. I definitely recommend that for slides. And it's gonna show you all kinds of different features that each one has. So this one has over 300 slides for Google Slides available and 55 unique slides available for editing. All kinds of things that it's gonna tell you more about. But again, explore here, choose one you like, click on it, read more about it. And when you're happy, press download so we could customize it. If you don't have an account, you could sign up for one at this point where you press download. And then I'll show you what I do with the template at that point. Let me go back to Google Slides and I downloaded the template and I unzipped that file. But here, let me go ahead and press blank right here and we're going to import a slide presentation. So if you look on the bottom of the page, if you have themes open on this side, which opens up by default, you see the themes are limited, the ones that come with Google Slides, but you could import your own. So that's this option on the bottom. Let me press that. And you wanna to go to the Upload tab and select the file from your device. And this is the folder I unzipped here on my computer and there's a bunch of different versions. And this downloaded five different slideshows. So some have a different color pattern. So blue or orange, maybe blue is the one I want in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it right over here. Double click and it's gonna import it here. And this is my office theme, I'm gonna import the theme. And now it's using that theme with a blank presentation. So if I go to layout, I could change 
the slide presentation to any of the color slides I get. But what I really like to do rather than doing this again from scratch is I like to just go back, press slides home right here. If I go back to this home page, I could see what I just brought in right here, not the blank one it created. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this instead. And look how easy this is now. I have my entire presentation over here, all 55 unique slides that this slideshow has. Now some have different amount of slides, but they are all pre-designed. So what I could do here is you could go and jump in and edit this just like any slide. So your title goes over here. You will put the year here, whatever you want, you could add. If you don't like something, you could just simply press delete, right? So anything could be clicked on and changed. And what's nice about this is some of these actually come with a note that tells you how to do different things with the slide. So in this case, it says right click to bring the gradient background to the back and then add your own image. So I could right click, I could change the order and send it to the back and then replace this with an image here instead of the picture placeholder here. And then you could go through each slide like this. Again, double click, type in any text you want, anything that doesn't make sense, delete. So I could just delete entire boxes, for example. I could go ahead and rename anything. And this comes with a bunch of icons too, which is really nice. So if I wanted to replace some of these icons, I could always go back to Envato Elements and then I could go to Graphics and there's a whole icon section that I use a lot with my presentation. So that's why I like this platform because it's not just where I get my presentation template, I also get my graphics and the images that I'm gonna bring into this platform as well. And any of these could be changed, right? So we still have our different layouts, so we could go ahead and change them just like this from the theme. So we're still sticking with the same design colors here, right? So we could choose any of these that we want from here, change the text font and color still, everything could be changed but it's professionally created from scratch, right? And then if we decide, hey, this is something that doesn't make sense, I don't need this slide, obviously right click on a slide and delete that slide. Let's delete this one too. So whatever doesn't make sense could be deleted this way. If you wanna change the order of your slides, you could obviously right here grab them and bring them up. So that became slide three, maybe this needs to be slide five. I could change the order. And what's really one of my favorite things about this is, when I first used this platform, I didn't even know how to put an investor pitch together to raise money for my company. And this template gave me the exact layout, right? It's gonna tell me exactly what I need to put in there. And if I don't have something, right, maybe I don't have our team in place yet, right? So instead of putting pictures of my team, maybe I don't want that. So I'll just go ahead and delete that. But I wouldn't even know to include our team here if I did not get this template. So that's one of my favorite things about using slideshows for anything, for presentations or any other thing. Let me show you another one I have here that I downloaded. This presentation, for example, is a little bit of a different presentation than a investor meeting. And this is based more on a service company and a pitch you would give to a client or a potential client. So this is really, really great, right? This is for a service business, completely different than the other one. So again, go back to this platform, go ahead and look for presentations and click on Google Slides, and then just explore. There is so many to explore from, and you could always look at the newest or look at by most popular, or use the search field above, and editing is exactly as I've shown you here. Now, if you need more help with Google Slides, I do have a beginner's guide, so you get very familiar with editing Google Slides. So when you actually jump in to edit a template, all the things look very, very familiar to you. So watch that next if this is your introduction to using Google Slides and you've been using a different platform up to this point. Hopefully you found some value here. All the resources are linked below and I hope to catch you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching this one.